And we are back. Just finished watching episode three. Now, I, I, I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this. Because season one, I thought I had to figure it out where I'd do an episode a week. But, um, like I said, I don't want a repeat of messing up or missing a week. And, you know, like I said, I was trying to, I was trying to make all these videos put together. But I feel like it's doing really well when I do these weekly. So, I'm going to continue doing these weekly. I mean, I'll have a thing where it's, uh, all of them, all together. Just for the heck of it. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get this going. That's episode, we just watched that. Episode four. Okay, now we're getting to eat his past, right? Because I thought that was, <clears throat> I thought that was last episode. Mmm. Then everything changed. <laughs> Did I do this last episode? I think I did. Ah! Not as good as a uh, school bell. I like it too. <laughs> Better than Sharknado. That's the idea. I'm starting to think maybe his dad isn't that good. Or maybe he was before, but now he's not. I'm like, oh yeah, gotta get my hugging arms. He's gonna be great, yeah. We'll see. Oh yeah? Yeah? Yeah, she's right outside. Go ahead. Flying snakes. There it is, guys. That's great and all, but I'll get to that later. All right, I'd be pretty upset too. Mhm. Mm yeah. What? What is it? What is it? Huh?
<laughs> Pull up the syndrome meme. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get out of here. We got we ain't got no time for you. Get out of here. They're gonna feel this in the morning. <laughs> yeah, what what's wrong with that? That's the saddest part. is there <laughs> I almost clicked out of that Ooh. thou not me there you go Something I forgot to do last episode was uh, look stuff up. See if I missed anything through the uh, the Owl House fandom websites and stuff. Oh! So uh, tomorrow, July 3rd, this episode came out. Cool. Oh, so... The, the Camp Loose was supposed to be at, was only going to be three months. So it has been three months since Season 1, Episode 1. Insane. <laughs> so the, uh, the voice actress for, um, Gwendolyn, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Deb Doetzer? Doetzer? Um, <laughs> on the, uh, the fandom... Uh, the fan, the, the, the wiki. Uh, if I, I didn't read the one sentence that's on on here, but all I saw was other works that said Blockbuster Video, State Farm, McDonald's, and Nestle Toy House Cafe. And I'm like, did she work there? And apparently, she did. Um, yeah, she did voices in the commercials. And apparently, when she was recording her lines for Gwendolyn, it was in her home closet, which is fantastic, by the way. That's great. Now, according to the wiki, the episode uh, Keeping Up Appearances is a uh, reference to Keeping Up Appearances of the title of a British sitcom, but I thought that was always a phrase anyway. I, is that where the phrase comes from, or was it the phrase before the sitcom came out? Because I've, I've used that phrase before many times. Alright, let's get on with the grading. So, characters... Nothing new, nothing new to talk about except for their mom, which um, wasn't too happy about for a while there, but she quickly changed, um, and it didn't feel forced, which I'm 
glad because usually when they when they they get an actual bad guy or a bad guy and then they just quickly turn it seems rushed this didn't feel rushed it seemed pretty fair however I'm not talking about the show I'm talking about like realistically though had she uh, waited I mean for for Lilith this made sense of course she would be mad um and all that stuff. Of course, Sita was mad too. Had she not done anything, it would have been worse. And if had she uh, not cared about him even before all this happened, because she clearly cared, just not in the right way. But had she not cared before, and the, if it would have been really rough had they done it to where she never cared at all and then all of a sudden she cares and then this happens that would make sense but I've seen it happen before but it wasn't like this it was pretty good so I'm going to give it an 8 animation pretty good no it wasn't I can't tell you off the top of my head what was great I, it, it was better than um, mid so I uh, I don't think there's really much to talk about, but I'm going to give it a 7 story. Of course, it connects with the characters. I think I'm going to say that every episode. I think I said that season 1 at some point, too. I'm going to give it an 8. OST? I don't recall anything about the OST. I don't remember the music, actually, at all. Except for the intro, of course. I'm going to give it a 5. Hype? We had several things come up at the end of that episode. We got the the human that came before. And who knows how many other humans have happened before this one person did and between them and Luce. Who knows? Who really does? Of course, this other person that Gwendolyn was talking about has written something and it is in the library so we got that to look forward to and then the imposter which um I'm starting I can't I'm trying to remember I'm gonna feel stupid again like I did last episode who was it right who was writing the letters was it the imposter I'm not going to do that joke again. And if so, how did she know to write the letters? And, but if it wasn't her, then who was it? So, hype is a 10. Well, 38. It's a high B. So, there's a score. And, like I said, I'm recording several episodes ahead of time. That way I don't get spoiled by some person that wants to spoil things. Even if, even if I've watched the episode, like I said, again, I'll keep saying this until I get to it, I've only seen up to episode 10 or whatever episode they had before they took a break. But there's always going to be that one person. I've been lucky so far. Or they spoil something. I haven't had it happen here. I haven't had, have, haven't had it I haven't had it had it, I haven't had it happen <laughs> anywhere else, but I've seen it happen with other shows I've watched and saw other people reacting to it. So, yeah, if you like the video, like it, subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell icon so you know when I upload again. Check the links down below for reactions on Patreon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.